Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to talk about how to find and remove programs on your Windows 10 computer, because Microsoft, in all of their infinite wisdom, decided to move stuff in weird places that doesn't necessarily make any sense, and uh, it's confusing a few people, so I figured I'd let people know how to do this. Now, the first thing I should mention is, for the first time, like, ever, the Windows search feature powered by Cortana, you remember Cortana, that uh, character from Halo that they somehow thought that the vast majority of the world that didn't play video games wanted to know about, um, you can just go down here to the search Windows tab at the bottom left corner and you can be like, Cortana, where are my apps and features? Whoops. So you can just look for programs and features or apps and features and you can find the window right here. So if you're looking for something on the uh, operating system, Cortana knows what the old name of it used to be and if it changed, it'll tell you what the new name is and you can just click it right here and you can find this window and it'll load up everything. Now if you want to just go there directly because you're too good for directions, I understand. Um, I fear the robot uprising as well, but it will be coming from Google, not from Microsoft, because Microsoft is kind of shithouse about um, taking over the world. So basically, you go, everything's in settings now, so you open up this panel about all this crud, and then you go to settings, and then this panel is where all your stuff is now. So you've got system, devices, this is like printers and your mice, your network, your personalization, your account, time and language, all this stuff. Basically, if it's listed underneath of the name, that's where it is. So your apps and stuff are now under the Systems tab, down here under Apps and Features. Now, I actually do have something I want to remove from here. Uh, I got a bunch of garbage that ended up on this computer, uh, just because I was trying to find some software and it decided to install some other stuff instead. Like, I don't know, can I get rid of Skype? Yeah, I don't want Skype on this computer. Uh, we'll get rid of Skype. And then what I really wanted to get rid of is I have this thing. This Opener Pro is absolute garbage. Um, don't use this program for your uh, for your zip files. It's complete crap. Uh, it's called Opener Pro by Tiny Opener. It's bad. Don't touch it. It'll it'll basically just horse up your zip files, which it did to mine. Use Seven Zip or WinRAR, and basically that's all you gotta do. You just click on the thing you want to remove. Or sometimes they come with a repair tool, so you can click on Modify, and you can run a repair tool. But I don't really need to necessarily do any of that, so if you need to remove anything from your computer, this is basically how you do that. Although the only thing I've really got on here is a bunch of games that I need to get playing and reviewing. Because, I mean, I'm a human being, I have my limits, ladies and gentlemen. And then if for whatever reason you want to change what the default app is you use for this, that, or a bag of chips, like, um... I want to change my default web browser to Google Chrome, because only peasants use the default inner, or Microsoft Edge. Although Microsoft Edge, to its credit, is not quite as bad as Windows Explorer. Or Microsoft Explorer, or whatever. The bad one. The one we don't... Internet Explorer, that's the one. Um, that's the one we don't want to talk about. It's, uh, it's crap. Don't, don't use that if you're on an older machine. But if you're on an older machine, upgrade already. This stuff is free. Do it while you don't have to pay for it. Don't be a peasant, alright? But yeah, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is where you find stuff and how you change your default apps. Like, what do I want for my default? Yeah, I guess I could make my Windows Media Player my default player until I install VLC Media Player. Yeah, that's how you uninstall stuff and change the default, and everything else is just kind of here. Like managing your storage, power and sleep, battery saver, multitasking. So yeah, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry, the most delectable, educating chupacabra. This is where you find, you know, this has been a tutorial detailing where you find stuff, and how to remove stuff, and how to change your default. So until next time... Be sure to do that likey, subscribey thing. It helps me out a whole bunch, especially if you found this helpful. Um, if you have questions on some of this stuff, let me know. I'm not like Captain IT Guru, but I'm I'm pretty good with this stuff. I I know my way around a hard drive and a processor. Let's just put it that way. 
So yeah, maybe check out my gaming channel linked below, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles.